but after uh, Islam, some uh, historians they they think uh, they start using vinegar. But wine or vinegar, whichever uh, it's on the table, the importance of it it's uh, it's symbolizing patience because in order to produce wine or vinegar you have to go through the process and it's the art of production of this uh, liquid that it's important it's symbolizing patience for the family because you had to get wine or vinegar and you go through the process of few months to produce it and uh, it surface out on the table another thing that it's uh, been frequently u used at least for the last uh, uh, two three uh, centuries as the uh, goldfish no uh, uh, none of the historians um, really know exactly when and how the goldfish start being used but um, because of the uh, old Aryan um, traditions which is uh, most of the belief system is based on uh, the different ages because we are in a Pisces uh, age we use uh, goldfish also goldfish um, it's uh, once uh, a good sample of the kingdom of uh, sea um, we uh, sometimes use other uh, additions to our uh, have scenes. Candles can be used, mirrors, uh, rose water, uh, sometimes decorated eggs. Uh, but the most important things that you find it in every house is uh, either Avesta, Quran, Bible, Torah, or Kitab e Akdas, or it could be Shahnameh and Hafiz and these are the most frequently used and uh, uh, the most of them are holy books except Shahnameh and Hafez which are frequently used by Persians to look at uh, basically fortune telling or also uh, Shahnameh which is a very uh, strong mythological uh, storytelling of old Persian uh, heroes so people sometimes like to put this on the table because uh, during after the Salat Ahvil, which is the exact time of the passage through the spring from winter, uh, some member of the family, usually youngest one, would step out with one of these books, open it and uh, read uh, the first verses or uh, look at the bottom of the page look for something uh, that would uh, bring prosperity to the family I would read it out loud uh, pray to uh, to the lost souls for every families and then would come back and knock on the door and uh, mom or dad would open the door and let them come back in and they bring prosperity and happiness so Hafiz and Shahnameh could be very good samples of uh, these uh, uh, books because they are very old and important uh, uh, lessons of old traditional Iranian life in them. Uh, on the 13th day of this festival uh, of Eid, uh, we uh, uh, go out. Uh, we call this day Sizdabedar, which means literally uh, uh, basically uh, 13 out or 13 to out uh, you uh, believe that after the 12 days in 13 days you your uh, uh, the symbol that you have as green uh, on your table which is lentil or wheat or barley as we talk about it's now gathered enough uh, uh, in it that it has to be released into the nature also after 12 days of uh, ceremony sometimes in some uh, versions of uh, uh, we believe that we have we, we bring some negativity into the festival so we have to get out get into the nature 
and give our uh, uh, sabze or green into the running water and before doing that releasing it into the running water you can tie uh, two or three uh, of these shoots of greens uh, together and wish for your uh, uh, anything that you like it's kind of like a birthday wish rebirth of this uh, year and you're giving it out and leave it to be also uh, going somewhere down the river and would grow and would giving it back to the nature or also mother nature can resolve all the anger or negativity in in the festival that you you have or you conserve uh, the other th importance of this uh, uh, is that in the past, uh, during different kingdoms, they apparently they used to grow different uh, greens in the soil around the kingdom, uh, which would be revisited by uh, the specialist. Uh, and according to which green is suitable to grow, be grown by in the spring or summer, then the king would initiate the growth of lentil or barley or wheat for that year or other greens. <coughs> there are many different versions or use for this festival, uh, and because it's so ancient, of course, most of them are. Uh, uh, very important they signify something in the past um, the whole festi festival starts uh, with the last uh, uh, celebrating Charsham Bissuri a, a day that it's basically uh, it's kind of you can call it Red Wednesday uh, it's the day, the day of the dead coming back to revisit their family and in past, they believe, especially in Zarathustra era, uh, that people would put fires, lit fires, on four corner, corners of their house on the roof, uh, letting the dead, uh, directing them to come back to the house that they left. And this festival uh, now is changing into kind of a uh, basically. Uh, firework festival these days but uh, at, uh, in, in past it had uh, different uh, purposes one purpose is for family to come together uh, second to remember they did and kind of uh, value them and then uh, symbolically they also jump over a, fu a fire and they give uh, this remembrance to the fire and they inviting uh, fire to clean up the uh, uh, their soul or their life or their family problems or uh, basically uh, what uh, we gather here it's something that uh, it's new for me too but I didn't know that much about it but uh, apparently the Persian tra uh, tradition the new rules uh, is presenting different uh, kingdoms on earth and basically it's the festivity of uh, sustaining life on earth so uh, we have the different symbols of uh, animal kingdom, uh, the plant kingdom, and the water kingdom on our table. And uh, at, at the end, we're, we're kind of uh, giving these all back to the earth to just remember that earth, uh, or mother earth, it's the only one that is the source of, source of life for us. Sort of watching, but ooh.